Hello learners, welcome. In uh, previously, we were dealing with the calculation or application of Charles law. In lesson four today, we are dealing with the combined gas law. Remember, we were having Boyle's law, Charles law, and next we are dealing with the combined gas law. So this is our law number three. So combined gas law is also known as the universal gas law or an ideal gas law. That's the other name of combined gas law. So what does that combined gas law state? Remember, for you to know uh, combined gas law, you are supposed to state the combined gas law and also write the formula for that combined gas law and also try to do calculations concerning the combined gas law. Let's start first of all by stating what combined gas law is. Combined gas law is the combination of uh, Boyle's law and Charles' law. So what have we said about Boyle's law? You have to remember that. And what have we said about Charles' law? So if you know those two laws, you just combine so that you form an answer there. So combined gas law states that the volume of fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature and inversely proportional to its pressure. Remember, Boyle's law, we said the volume of fixed mass of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure at a constant temperature. So in Charles' law, we said it is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at a constant pressure. So in combined gas law, we said there is no constant there. All the three are variables. That means the volume, the temperature, that's absolute temperature, and also pressure. So you combine the state for Boyle's law with that of Charles law. So it states that the volume of fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature, that's the Charles law, and inversely proportional to its pressure, that is the Boyle's law. So during the exam, you can be told, state the combined gas law. Okay, what about the formula for combined gas law for various maybe conditions? Remember here, there's no variable. I mean, there's no constant. All are variable. So if you're having pressure 1, volume 1, temperature 2, they are going to vary to pressure 2, volume 2, and temperature 1. So how are we going to write this formula? We can drive this formula. We can drive by remembering the state. We have said volume is directly proportional to its absolute temperature and inversely proportional to pressure. So if you want to get 1 or K on the product side or on the right-hand side, we can multiply here by B, multiply here by B. So this B will go with that B. So we are going to get BV will be equal to absolute temperature. So we can still divide here by temperature. So to get 1, divided by T here. So BV over T will give you now constant or 1. So all these are variable. If we are having B1, V1, T1, they can vary to B2, V2, over T2. So this is the formula for the combined gas law. You can still continue to simplify it by cross multiplying. So you are going to get B1, V1, T2 will be equal to B2, V2, then T1. So this is the formula for the combined gas law. Okay. Let's go and see the standard conditions for the combined gas law. We deal with standard temperature pressure, which you can, it can be abbreviated as STB. So in STB, temperature is zero degree Celsius. If you convert it into Kelvin, it will be 273 Kelvin. So pressure at STB, it will be 760 millimeter mercury, or it can be one ATM, one atmospheres, one atmosphere. So, in the other condition, it's called room temperature pressure, RTB. Temperature becomes 25 degrees Celsius. If you change to Kelvin, it will be 298 Kelvin. So, pressure will be 760 millimeter mercury or one atmosphere. Okay, let's go deal with the calculations. We start with the first question. We are told a given mass of a gas occupies 40 centimeter cube at 0 degrees Celsius and 680 millimeter mercury pressure determine the volume of the gas that uh, would occupy at negative 23 degrees Celsius and 760 millimeter mercury. So the first step, 
the first step, we are going to organize our work. We are going to start with volume one. So volume one here is 40 centimeter cube. Then we deal with B1, our pressure one. Here is 680 millimeter mercury. So that is it. And our temperature one will be zero degrees Celsius. So we have to add plus 273 so that we change into a Kelvin. So that we change into Kelvin. So thereafter, let's just try to have our volume two. We don't have our volume two because we are told determining the volume. So we don't have volume two. Uh, that the gas will occupy at uh, 23, negative 23 degrees Celsius and 760. So we are having our B2, which is 760 millimeter mercury, mmHg, and that temperature 2 is negative 23. So we add ballast 273 so that we get it in Kelvin. So we say <coughs> negative 23 ballast 273. We are going to get 250 Kelvin. 250 Kelvin. So using the formula for the combined gas loop, we say the formula is B1, V1, T2 will be equal to uh, B2, V2, T1. So let's just insert our values into the formula. So our B1 is 680 times our V1 is 40 times our T2 is 250 will be equal to our B2, which is 760, times V2, which we don't have, times T1, which we have 273. 273. So if you want to get V2, we divide here by 760 times 273. We divide here the same, 760 times uh, 273. So 760 will go 760, 273 will go 273 v2 will be equal to so learners when you are putting these values in the calculator you can do it two ways the first step you deal with the upper ones 680 times 40 times 250 you say equal to or you can divide it when you divide you put these two in bracket you say 760 divided by bracket 760 times 273 you close the bracket then it will give you the answer as 32.77 centimeter cube because our first volume was 40 centimeter cube so this will be that 2.77 centimeter cube but learners if you put this multiplication up then you say divided by 760 times 273 you are going to get a wrong answer because this 273 is supposed to be what you have up there, you divide by this. Again, you divide by this. So you use two uh, division there. Okay. After that, we are going to go to example two. Example two, a gas occupies 100 centimeter cube at 700 millimeter mercury and 17 degrees Celsius. What temperature will it occupy 240 centimeter cube at at uh, a pressure of 760 millimeter mercury. Okay, let's just try to arrange our work again. We start with the volume one. Our volume one is 100 centimeter cube. So our pressure one, we are having 700 millimeter mercury. Okay, our temperature one, we are having 17 degrees Celsius. So we add plus 273. We are going to get there 290 Kelvin. So we're having again volume two. Our volume two is 240 centimeter cube. Our pressure two, we have 760 millimeter mercury. Then our temperature two, we don't have because we are told at what temperature will it occupy. So remember the, uh, the formula. The formula was B1, V1, T2 is equal to B2, V2, T1. Okay, let us insert our values into the uh, into the formula. 700 times V1, which is 100, times temperature 2, which we don't have, will be equal to B2, which is 760 millimeter mercury, times V2, which is 240, times T1, which is 290. So, if I want to get T2, I divide here by 700 times 100. I divide here the same, 700 times 100. 
so t2 therefore will be equal to solanas i was saying if you have 760 times 240 times 290 first of all get your answer it's something like that then you divide by the first number that's 700 you say equal to again you say divided by 100 don't say times there it's a division so we're going to get 755.66 kelvin because we are told at what temperature and the temperature that we have in here was kelvin so here it will be in kelvin so we are going to get 755.66 kelvin okay thereafter we go to example three example three we're having hydrogen gas in at 360 centimeter cube glass bulb at STB. What have you said about STB? Standard temperature pressure. Carefully transferred into another glass bulb of volume 320 centimeter cube at a temperature of 51 degrees Celsius. So we are told calculate the new pressure. So we are asked to calculate the pressure. We first of all have our figures again. Okay, we start with our volume one. So what is our volume one? It's 360 centimeter cube. So what will be the pressure at STB? You said 760 millimeter mercury. Okay, what about our temperature one in STB? It is zero degrees Celsius. So we add plus 273. There we are getting 273 Kelvin. Okay, if we have something like that, let's just try to see our volume two. Our volume two here is 320 centimeter cube. Our uh, B2 we don't have because we are told to calculate the new pressure then our T2 will be 51 plus 273 so what are we going to get 324 Kelvin okay let's have uh, our formula B1 V1 T2 is equal to B2 V2 T1 so there let's try to put we are going to have B1 as 760 times T, uh, V1 360 times T2, which is 324, it will be equal to B2, which I don't have, times V2, which is three, uh, 320, times T1, which is 273. So if you want to get B2, it will be divided by 320 times 273. Here, the same again, 320 times 273. So B2 will be equal to 1014.72 millimeter mercury because our unit for pressure there is millimeter mercury so thereafter let's check the last one we are told at 27 degree celsius and 760 uh, 740 millimeter mercury pressure a symbol of a gas occupies that centimeter cube what will be its volume at rtb so we start with first of all our volume one our volume is 30 centimeter cube so our pressure one, our pressure one here is 740 millimeter mercury. Our temperature one is 27 plus 273. That's 300 Kelvin. So what about our volume two? We don't have because we are told calculate this volume at RTB. What have you said about RTB in pressure? We said 760 millimeter mercury. What about in the side of temperature? We said it's 25 degrees Celsius. So we add plus 273. We get 298 Kelvin. Okay, we get 298 Kelvin. Thereafter, let's just try to get our formula B1, V1 divided by T1. Let me use this formula B2, V2 over T2. So our B1 here is 740 multiplied by 30 then divided by T1, which is 300, it will be equal to B2, which is 760, times V2, which we don't have, divided by T2, which is 298. So, cross multiply, we are going to get 740 times 30 times 298, it will be equal to 760 times volume 2 times 300. So, for you to get volume 2, we divide here 760 times 300, then divide here. 760 times 300 so here we are going to have our volume 2 as 29.01 that's centimeter cube okay 
lastly uh, let's go to the extended question after before extended question we are having application of uh, gas law try to go through run of that time then thereafter we have one extended question thank you we're stopping there next let's meet on the next class on our next class as we look on diffusion thank you